Alright, what's up guys? So we officially made it to the first day of the Reconquista. And um <clears throat> technically the last 90 days were to sort of set up a schedule that would work for me to get my goals. I think we did fairly well in making some advancements as well because um regarding we've had i guess there's like two main topics of conversation for the reconquista which is my weight and also financially um bringing myself uh back to zero and yeah that's it no i'll add that part for later but it's mostly that so it's mostly um reconquering um just just sort of Coming back from from a low point of of being unhealthy and also being misuseful with my money. I don't even know that's a word, right? Uh, irresponsible, I guess, a better one. <laughs> or just bad money management. So that is something that we've managed to do here, I, I think, fairly well uh, regarding uh, when I started the videos, I believe I was like 270, but when I started this whole thing, I was, I think like 295, but I think 270, and then I'm about like 243, 242, 244, around there. Um, today I, I measured in at, uh, 246, but I had, uh, Okay, so I made the videos one day after. So today's actually twelve thirteen, but this video is for twelve twelve. But uh, today I woke up in the morning and I was two hundred and forty one pounds. But uh, the way I the twelve for twelve twelve, I weighed in two forty six. But I had eaten a lot, and I mean a lot of food this past weekend due to my dad's birthday. So I knew that that weight was kind of like fake, I guess. Like the 246, I knew it wasn't like the correct one. But that's what I weighed in that morning. And then uh, as the day went through, and um, I just, I guess I just woke up the next day better. Like more normal. I just, and I was so bloated for like two, three days. And um, today's actually the first day I feel kind of normal. And... So I think we did an okay job. We went from 270 to like 240s, so almost 30 pounds in, in what, 90 days. So like in a month, like I average like 10 a month. I lose around 10 a month, which is not a bad number. I also have been told and have read that if you lose a lot of it at the same time, you'll end up getting like very saggy skin. I don't think I have that problem right now, but um, it could definitely become a problem in the long run. Even if I wanted to lose it at a faster pace, it doesn't seem like I am capable of doing it right now because I have uh, had, um, I guess, not the best of discipline, but I've had uh, okay discipline. I feel like I could be doing better. I've been doing well, but I think I could um, take it up to like another level, take it up another notch. So I guess I'll just go over my day. We started out fairly okay there was just one component that we really messed up on but um i woke up at 8 a.m or i wanted to wake up so my schedule for today was to wake up stretch play soccer edit eat work a little bit then go to the bulls game and then go to sleep i don't i'm not one to go do stuff during midweek but my friend has been wanting to go see Jokic play. My friend Sammy. Uh, I put him in videos before. So I was like, you know what? Let's go do it. I was down for it. Um, but this won't be like a regular thing. Um, I'll talk about the game later. As for my actual, I woke up at like 8, 8.08 a.m. So fairly decent. I stretched like at 9.33. And then I went to play soccer at 11.05. So kind of late. Um, 
and then I edited it like at 12 p.m. I ate at 1.45. Uh, I tried to go to work at 3.53, but I ended up doing a bunch of errands instead because they had it was only like an hour before I had to go to the game. So I was like, oh, I was like, I don't want to end up too far where I have to come back and I'm all hurried up and I'm making people wait for me. So I was just like, let me just go to the errands. I have to run. You know, I, I went to get gas um, and just uh, I had to go to the bank and stuff. So I did all that. And then I went to the Bulls game like at 5.30. And then I went to sleep, which I did not put, but I'm writing down. I would think I went to sleep at like 12, 12 or something like that. I forgot. I'm looking at the clock and I was like, I got to go to sleep right now. As for my daily production, um, TikToks, I did about seven of them on the meme account that I'm running. They did fairly well. They did okay. And then for Bumble Prime, I did one video. And this video took forever, ever, ever to upload. It was annoying me, I'm not gonna lie, but we managed to bag it in. So that one's in already. And I had a rough start yesterday too, because I was recording um, the video, like of me uh, playing soccer. And I'm sorry. And then um, it stopped. I received a phone call. I forgot to put the phone on what's called Do Not Disturb. So I only got about eight minutes of film. So not that well. Um, I think I got a couple shots in, but that's pretty much it. As for I wanna, what I wanna fix is probably my my focus and intensity. I think that's one thing that I really want to kind of lean into. Um, like these are uh, just these next couple of weeks. Because as you guys can see, my the times that I want to do things and the actual times I do things can sometimes be very close. The margins can be very close or very far. So I need to really close down on that margin and do things when I tell myself to do things. And that comes with, with intensity. And the focus comes with when I do the things that I do, I need to do them very disciplined and actually like do them uh, instead of just like being on my phone and also doing them. And I also put a fixed work. Uh, I think I, I really need to just try to step it up and put more hours there. Um, especially since most of this thing revolves around getting out of debt. And if I'm able to put um, put in more work, I'll be, I'll be I'll keep myself in better positions to get rid of all this debt and be, and be able to start using the money that I make to build instead of you know pay off things. Plus, I have a lot of responsibilities that I've been holding back because of money. And I think it's time to step it up and maybe stop going out so much. Um, which is ironic, I know, because I went to a bullshit. <laughs> but 12-12 was supposed to signify the start of me taking this very seriously. And I did it apart from... Oh, I forgot to mention in my daily production that in Uber Eats, I only made zero dollars because I did not go to work. So that's the only thing I messed up yesterday. As for the calories consumed, it was 1,329. Although it was just yesterday, I forgot what I ate. What did I eat? I forgot what I ate. I'll have, I have a picture, so I'll put it up like right here, somewhere here. Um, and I weighed in at 246, like I was discussing before. Which I believe is like a fake weight. Because I, I, well, I already explained this again. So, so for my notes and reflections, I pretty much had overall today was a very fun day, but maybe not a very efficient one. Although, although I met my goals for uploads and completed all my tasks, I didn't make enough uh, time to go to work and make money which is true i think i've i knew so i knew i was going to the bowls game so i was pretty much gonna miss my work day but maybe i could have done everything faster for me to go in the morning so that's kind of when i was like blaming myself because i was just like like i knew i knew what was coming it's not like it was a surprise and i just didn't come through i know that today was different because of the Bulls game, but I had to try to avoid doing activities to hinder my personal goals. 
the Bulls game was very fun, but kind of mad they ejected Jokic. Oh yeah, they they ejected Jokic. Oh, that's who we wanted to see play. These refs are, are so sensitive. We all just wanted to see Jokic play, and he got ejected. So that was kind of trash. So um, I wanted to see him play more. He played about one quarter. So the soccer session today was horrible. I felt bad mentally because of the way I've been eating and drinking. And that transferred to my game. I think believing that I'm a good player has more impact in my game than I thought. And I think that was true because I was shooting so bad. But I was just like so like out of it. I did not feel good at all. And I was just like, fuck. But you know, when you're tired and you're just like, why am I, why am I doing it? And kind of just like, uh, just going through the motion. And I was just like, oh, like, I've been doing so bad. So then I started playing bad. The shooting with right foot has to improve. And I think that just comes with time and reps. And, and just focusing more on my technique as well. Very good news today. Sign the lawyer thing for the money of the dead Kia Rio. <laughs> so I finally, I think I will finally get um the money for, I think I've told you guys about this the, the first time someone crashed into me. I think it's called a T-bone, but they T-boned me and they destroyed my reel. And that's been going on for like a whole year. Um, and they, I think we're finally um going, to, they're going to settle or whatever. But I will be getting that this month, I think. So finally, like a, like a little W so I can... This will help us out immensely and almost bring us, uh, how can I say this? Before they try to steal my car, we were at a level, I think, where we were increasing very fast and exponentially. And then it, that shit just dropped. It just dropped because of the thing. So I think we'll be further along in, like, the debt um, race to, like, finish it. So this will change the trajectory of this journey immensely. By eliminating that and being able to keep a decent war chest. And the war chest I think is going to be like $3,330 or something like that. I'm just going to keep always like an account. Just in case anything bad happens. Or I have any emergencies. Or something like uh, the, you know, when the car got broken into and that didn't work for like 2-3 weeks. It, it messed me up eventually. And I've, I had to take out loans and that messed me up too. So we don't want that to happen again. And I think just having a little war chest will help me. I do fear what's to come is usually when something good like this happens, it is a comp company with an L and that is true. So I have to be very careful this month not to do anything too crazy and just stick with the schedule because usually, well, I don't even do anything like too crazy, but like I, I, I get bad things happen from nowhere, but I'm hopeful I'm wrong. Also interesting to learn that the start of Reconquista is the day Mary is celebrated. And I didn't know this, and people might not believe me, but I didn't know the 12-12 was the day that they celebrated um, uh, Mary or the Lady of Guadalupe. So I have her back there. Yeah. Um, my mom's name is, is Guadalupe, so that's how I... Uh, uh, well... Because I saw like two days ago they were celebrating and I looked it up um, like when it was going to be and then it was 12-12 so I was like oh and I was just thinking about it like, dang it's interesting then I don't know I feel like a lot of things the dates that I've been choosing from for this thing a lot of it is really close um, to like God and things of that matter so I, it almost gives me like um, signs that I'm heading in the right direction and I just need to stay in the right direction. But um, that was that was pretty much it for today. I guess another thing to add is that I will give I will be giving myself three off days on um, every month. So that'll be what twelve times three thirty six thirty six a year. Uh, and these are days that I will be able to like drink and eat whatever I want. Um, I'm doing this because I think. I don't want to miss out on like holidays and things like that the way you can like I used to do that and it wasn't very fun and then you, I guess you don't like really get into the holidays and stuff like that like with your family and when there are people around you and so I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna have like 
like three days a month for I can do this and I can save them up too. Like let's say if I don't use like one month I'm perfect, I can use those three other ones for the next month in case anything pops up. I feel like I'm gonna be needing a lot of those in the summer. So it's probably good to be good um this next couple months. Or like January, February, March, probably just take it take a chill and keep your head down and work. Is um what I'm gonna be telling myself so I can save them up. Um, I almost used one yesterday. I wanted to get a beer so bad at the Bulls game, but you know what helped me? That the beers were like sixteen dollars and they were this small, so I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> and I was like, "I don't want to waste a day just for that." So I think the, the first one I will waste or use um will probably be on Christmas because I'm gonna be eating like trash not, and drinking on Christmas. I'm not gonna lie, and probably New Year's too. So that's probably two or three for December. And, um, but yeah, that's a little rule I'll have. And I will tell you guys, I'll probably put like a star on the day that I do it. Um, I don't know. I guess it's only, it's only fun to do this if I'm honest. So it's not like I'm going to hide it. Um, uh, and that'll be it. That's pretty much going to be it for today. I think, um, let's, let's get this rest of the week and, and cook and just get back to some norm normality. And hopefully that uh, that money from the Lord comes in soon. And I'll, I'll be able to show you guys the next moves. We've made really good progress in the last 90 days of wait. And not so much for money, but I think we will soon. So let's just uh, stay productive and hit these data goals every day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.